of Ascend. I'm not actually going to be able to avoid this Aldro here, but... See, now it's just going to take first oh. contact deals with Defo immediately. Yeah, a little bit of a return fire from Shados, but it's quick and it's Ascend. Really sending a... Tagged up a little bit, actually going to get a confirmation here, but also going to ha hear out these steps in spawn. We have to relay that information, so Nats has got a lot to deal with here. If they swing together, he's going to get detected here as well. Yeah, he's going to be noted pretty quickly. Redgar's gone down. Nats is only good for one. It's on Chronicle now, and a 1v4, and it's gone quickly. It's going to put him to a tough scenario, having to deal with this push coming up. Two, two players going to turn the screws on it. Nats doing Nats thing, says hello. <laughs> Starzo, are you going to try and play Viper against me? That's crazy. For now, though, Gambit are doing well. They're keeping the rifles in the right place, and they're not really falling foul to any of these little bits of trickery. Now, yes, maybe CNED with a rifle could find a bit of work here. Spike is down, though. Last player standing. It, it's something that we, we see Nats become more and more comfortable doing, right? It's, it's a walk-up. It's a pick-up. Yeah, actually, this is on the first shade-off. We'll clean it up. But again, Nats... Adjustment if there is one coming out from Gambit if they consider this a possibility but already going to give away somewhat of the game trying to play it through elbow oh, no. and Shados gets a freebie Bone Cold going to be livid with that Shados going to try and power forward Yeah, oh, he almost caught Kieles <laughs> as he goes down I think towards either site or main so they're aware the hit's going to be leaning this way they can leave CNED lingering towards that B site as now Chronicle starts to build through lovely work from him good spray no connect but it's red card to find it so now the site should at least be available enough and Chronicle a little overextend Tricky spot here. Hunter's Fury actually going to get sent through from Redgar. He actually found a tag inside back of Halls. He did. Keyless will fall. Just he can see Ned to try and recover this now. Oh, I, I don't see Gambit getting overzealous. I don't think they're going to no. overpeak on this. I think they're going to sit real keen, play this smart, and not give away any opportunities. Just a little jump peek. That's enough. Just to reassure. Positioning! What? what? Zeke! Two kills out of nowhere, and suddenly this round becomes a little bit more viable, but time is the biggest problem! Oh my word, Zeke! Is this when you're going to step up and deliver? But it's going to be Chronicle! The box no way, Zeke! Zeke! The timing! I don't think he's going to have the time! Surely! Surely! Oh no way. my god! Zeke has just destroyed them! Filter for Gambit. Let's see if they can keep that known composure, but Zeke ain't stopping. He's right back at it. <laughs> Just straight on to Chronicle. He's feeling this game. He's got that hot hand where everything makes sense, but a quick piece in towards the B site. Now, we're already on this one player here. Killers does find one, and Defo's none the wiser. He's gone away with murder from this corner. A free little... They get punished for it. Really nice crossfire from Bone Cold and Killers. Seen it. Scenario, there's always a chance with them, right? They are one of the true tested teams who can already see is going to come out though so Gambit are not wasting any time here a quick mid piece looks like they want to set the tone what? and Cena just doesn't like the song they're singing this aim main push if it does come and they, they still haven't cleared or noted bone cold he's going to sit there quietly they have to re-explore exactly it's, this, there, there's so many like dirty little angles they can find Nat's Back actually going to get found with the spike inside Hall's that oh no the opportunity might have just slipped through his fingers he keeps control of it for now defo does well to get away with that that was actually looking very one-sided but now down to the 3v2 redgar and defo still trying to find that spike and build it back through they're trying to isolate starzo who's on the stairs that could be a catch-off and it is good pick from redgar there but look who's been waiting the entire time he kept calm under pressure bone cold being ice cold and there is cned about it so now keep your eye towards the likes of zeke who sat towards the corner here still has flashes killers can't watch his cross anymore so he's a little isolated but Killers has got a feeling someone's close by. And he's not wrong, and he still gets a surprise on one. Great trade from Defo. Great clear from Defo. How's he found this little bit of momentum? Nats pushes forward, secures CT. Bone Cold from the backside does at least get one, but now it's down to two. CNED and Bone Cold spike. Yet to go down. Where is this? Hold on, five seconds. Cena just has to live. Nat, can you find the final player? Bone Cold's out of there. That's the worst game of hide and seek Nats has ever played. Enough. Look at the pace change. Send an extra. Hold on, they're just going to be start oh, hammering no. the nails into the coffin. Bone Cold with a good start. Nats did at least well Zeke, but it was an effective trade. Bone Cold's looks like peace if they fancy it, but putting a lot of faith right now in Killers, considering that Cena's hit that rotation Pretty on the ladder. Time. Bone Cold, that's three. Finally, handle. It will swing back up here. Might even... Oh no! Oh, no, a little bit. He's of a had a nightmare. There. He's had a nightmare. <laughs> Look, it's finals. All right, we're all nervous. We'll Sides. Now the ult comes in, so at least should facilitate the plant. Oh, he has no idea. Right underneath him, death from above. Going to find Chronicle, deny the lockdown, invest the ult, and now looks towards the final player. Redgar, what do you have for us? You've been impeccable this event, but you've got to find something here. Give me a reason to believe, because at the moment I'm really not on board. Starzo, the first to fall. And now the 1v1, it's Killers! He 
He's just the back line to so many of these rounds. He Pressure that's coming in. But CNED is feeling confident. He has the line of sight. And he is just having the run of things here. Bone Cold as well gets a challenge but gets overwhelmed. Gambit with the two players come through. Zeke with the underhand flash. It's good, but okay. it's not great. Gambit finally getting the frags they need. The pace. Yeah, spike bomb. Spike planted. Feeling comfortable on the sky, but right here you see, as soon as CNED drifts into elbow there, they spot the turret and it's almost like they rotate. Starzo knows that he's going to be really on a platter here. Tricky for him to survive. Can he do anything with it? The answer? Pretty resoundingly is no. Gambit with a really nice approach. There's the adjustment from Gambit we were waiting for. It took a little time, but it ain't over yet. Seen it and Killer still here. Oh, he just oh, seen everything. He, no, he just sends it in. He gets Red Guard, but Defo. Deal. Defo going to be dealt with. Can he be shut down in time? No, he still gets to fall away, but they're going to try and springboard off the back of this. Quick Keep that off. pace high. Beautiful flash through, completely blind. Still got one on the way down. Defo going to be dragging them down to the grave and four standing for Gambit. This is a shutdown. Ascent came in with a bit of a game plan, but it looks like it's been dealt with on all fronts. Again, the setup is so good. The Greek is P here. Almost mimic. has got a ghost. Spectre's a weak purchase up against the Guardians and the rifles coming out from Ascend. So let's see what the damage looks like for Gambit here. And that is a belter of a star for Defo. Takes a head off of Killers, but a quick. You're playing dangerous <laughs> games now. Shados is the one closest to the corner, but CNET's going to just check him, body check him down. Ascend now striding towards the sights. That's going to be pretty much all the danger removed from the site and not much to really come from it. Nats and Chronicle. This wasn't an invested round though. If you look at what was coming through that defo. So many bodies bottom mid. Towards top mid actually. Zeke will find another. That's one of his ultimate here. So whether or not they try and feed that kill over to Zeke. It will be a traditional A piece, which does lean towards Defo as being the front man. He's going to find Zeke for free. Looks for a follow up. There's no one there quite yet. You can see the vision. Just. Oh, that got way too close. And Defo's feeling himself here. Pretty brave to be standing like this. What? Starzo walks in, makes a side zone, and Ascend just burst through. Five now alive. Zeke back on his feet. And it's Nats and Chronicle who don't have much territory in this at all. And already look at that push up. Um, Again, impressed just... with the send at this point. I've got to say, keep in mind, Defo had the first pick, was able towards the safe side. Yeah, that's you. I was going to say, a key engagement becomes Keelers and Redgar or Defo here, and she is able to find an angle through. Nats will be detected Time to on go. site as well. Yeah, they've got to hit this site right about now. Chronicle trying to spam away, trying to get some chip damage, but Nats is now surrounded. He's got players right, left, center. Alt comes in, and the plan going to be going down as well. Nats actually decides to get aggressive. Oh, no! Nats, no way, Nats. check, is right always down, deadly. Man. Chronicle's got his side as well, and now we go into the last player standing. CNED, what do you got for us? Anything left in the tank? Absolutely not. That's up here on the defense from And now they're like, oh, no. Surely not again. Surely this isn't what's happening. Look at the utility smothering them down. Nats is buying time after time. Can they finally take him down? No, they can't. Nats, the immovable object. No way. Unbelievable work from Nats. And Ascend can't escape him. He's the final boss that they cannot oh, get past. My and Gambit. Have utility ahead of no command. There you go. Actually, it's popped straight away and immediately see the Nano Swarm to try and buy a little bit of time. And and Chronicle will find it. But he pushes into this. The confidence no is just uncontestable. And Nats is the back line and he is not going to fall away. Nats what? is just... Nats here double doors. Yeah, but they've got an early rotation as well. Chronicle's left. coming over and I quite like that. Defo's got himself hopping out the old. Nats still finds one. No matter what they do, Ascend can't do anything. They are left without an answer. And it is just a clean sweep from Gambit. Five alive, Bone Cold presented the impossible, tries to make it happen. Honestly, some of these rounds are just, they're, they're, they're played so well here, whether or not see Gambit readjust. Look how deep Defo is once way. It's a very real possibility. He catches one of these players. It looks like he's going to spot Killers pretty soon. And he does, he finds Killers and oh, he just caught a glimpse yep. of a second. 100% confirmation. That you see here, Shados actually doubles down. It looks like a sense still want to try and navigate their way past this Viper's bit onto A. Good luck. Because we know who's there. Redgar this time holds across. Cena finds one. Redgar sprays in. He gets one connection, but it's still going to be Nats, who finally gets denied by Starzo. There's a two-hands, and he gets ripped away. Redgar, it's 10 seconds. It's over.
Wow. I, I'm, I'm speechless. A Ascend once again now, staring down the back. Gonna dealt with towards Tree for now, but he's still got a gun in his hand, and that might be just enough for him! Yeah, good luck targeting this man. He'll do it all with that target on his back. And Starzo now left in the 1v4. <laughs> That's a red car set up. We will find the first, actually the second as well from Starzo. That's fantastic work. Defo actually oh. will swing through with Shados. They find it. And again... Uh, Three, though, we still saw how well prepared Nats was. Spike down. Now a bit of a trade out. And uh, Shados is all the way in spawn. Now the contact's made. He has to buy a little bit of time. Just the last piece of utility put to work just before he backed away. Confirmation of two. And there's that lean through from CT. Nats is on route as well. Chronicle. Oh, good for the double. The triple not quite. as Bone Cold on this, but has to slip away. Sit deeper on the site. But it gives a second. And that might be all Shados needs. A quick flash and a peek. Pushes in and Bone. Ascend. Showing presence towards uh, A. Defo just raising in the swing there. And Cnib will punish it. Now that's a no big way. amount of information coming through. Shados gets a freebie and a nasty one! Shados Five hasn't seen eight. anything and he's still finding them! Two huge... You don't walk this, do you, Bone Cold? Surely not. You wouldn't do that. Maybe in timing with this, though. Yes, yes you does. do! When Cena plays in, he moves through the divide. Great timing, the push and the pull, taking the eyes away from the prize. The spike now has to get towards the site. Spike going down, I don't think anything's going to stop it. Chip damage enough, Killers is going to respect that and fall away to a new post-plant position eventually. Spike planted. They're pretty Play early on candy. though, Killers. Right wise to it. Nat's now the last man standing in 1v2. Ugh. And there's the contact made, they now know the position he's working from. They try and stay as a pack, but it's still Nat's. One side, going to be one, the other on the other, and this is just love. The really aggressive four comes through B-Main. Let's see if you can keep it. Looking lush as ever, Starzo and Cened in perfect unison. Leaving just Redgar, and I think he's already been well and truly discovered. They're lining him up, and they're knocking him down as on forward. Takes everything he can with him, but now on the other side, Defo. Oh, there oh. it is. Good shot from Defo. Comfortable enough, but it's not the only one here. And actually, Killers, what? <laughs> he unleashes himself. Two huge frags, keeping Gambit at bay. And it's now down to Chronicle. Try the Gambit here. Not necessarily in this next round. we we'll have to look at the economy, but... They actually peel away. So on the back of the Aldron and the Seekers here, you can see... Zeke, if they even start trying to play towards middle, really trying to address this, even with just a swing, this is not what I wanted. That's a disaster in the making. And now he even predicts the push up as well. Finding Starzo. Shados has just dismembered this hit. Oh, Redgar as well. That's the gambit you need. Two players already swinging past CT with that deep play coming out from Defo. They feel pretty solid about this, and Nats wants to get in towards it. Redgar already going to spray through. Good for one. Finds Killers. Nats tries to thread the needle. Zeke all too aware this time. Fell for it before, not twice. Shados and Redgar might have to respect this now. Fall away from Tree because you can already see the counterplay coming out from the send. They want to get aggressive right back at him. Attempt, but. Careful now. Cena was ready to get involved as well. Not to be for Defo, but he's in set up to greet them here. Clears the right corner with the spray through the smoke, but it's two sitting at very favourable angles on the left side. That's going to make it very tricky. Go and get it done, and now Chronicle caught by Zeke and another now going to be suppressed and have to just have the gun in the hand and that's going to be the good pick on the first the follow up shade off shade off quick as lightning finding three and sending a send right on back devil wants to take that space and this is brute up. there it is walk on in right. only going to get one and three seconds left seeing it still gets <laughs> redgar and now the four players in middle looking for the wire Confirm CNED's entry towards the site. But it's so geared for a retake, yeah. and Zeke looks. They don't even need to retake. Yeah, Chronicle's doing <laughs> just fine already. The door was already shut, and that was on the other side of this. If it was going to be a walk through B, they'd have been aware and maybe hit that rotation through CT. But as you as you said, they didn't need to go to that mode yet. So Bone Cold now. Are you going to do anything for us? Not really. Shados. The theory is exceedingly strong from Gambit, but they still have to deal with the pressure that's coming their way. Redgar! Oh my no word, Redgar! Redgar. Their ability to adjust whenever they need it. Redgar to shut down you up and tee you up to get to those double digits for a cent. That could be incredible. Where stack actually, the Trailblazer are going to plant the seed of doubt. Towards me, as you see, and Starzo will swing through. Nats and Redgar fall. No doubt in Ascend's mind, they are still holding the right place in the right time. Shados is about to be in danger, and he is. Zeke is taking control of this round. Three big picks, leaving just Defo in a 1v5. 
Not much step, but the cross is not available. Ascend the two in the timing. He just missed it. But wait, they don't know he's here. Oh no, Starto! They have no idea! He gets two out of nowhere. This is meant to be the bonus round. It's a 3v3. Red Garnats and Chronicle not loving this. As oh, see then, he makes the madman drop. Gets down in their faces and now just Nats presented the undesirable scenario. They face together and they win together. Ascend gonna push up to double digits. It's making me so nervous though. Yeah. If they try and pinch through towards B, the crossfire could already be in place and Zeke's just already cut off Nats. So they're actually trying to slip through spawn and they might be able to do that. With Killers going down, there's an option for a Zeke. Tries to stop him before it starts. Zened gets one no in the back. Way. How did he even get that? And now three, and Zeke's all too aware. He can't quite convert on the second. Redgar still stands. Starto though. They Chronicle looking for his first potential victim. Spike plant comes in. The spray comes out and seen it from above. It's 11. On the other side, this man exceeds brilliance. Gets one and backs away. Look, he's still got what he needs. And he's been holding this for a while. And they line up so perfectly. Takes down Nats with ease. Seen it still controlling towards middle. They're under your hand. Flash in the swing. It's everything you wanted. But with Bone Cold going... Don't think Gambit can do anything to deny it. And Ascend make it to 12. And I've got to say... They are so prepared for this. And away we go. Seen it goes in. Anti-flash. Oh... Trying to pick up the pace a little bit here. Oh no way! Nats goes down to Zeke! I thought he had he had him dead to rights, it wasn't to be. This is scrappy and that's not oh, where Gambit Starzone. thrive. It's where Ascend come online. They find so much momentum in the brutality of it all. Shados, Redgar and Defo. Killers, be careful now. There's two players. He's gonna make mincemeat of one, but it's a good trade out. It's enough. Can, can run this now. A pivotal position, and Redgar wants to try and play off the back of it as well. That's the first challenge. He wins. Shados, that is everything he needed, but Redgar is right there in support. Bam, yeah. coming out. Uh, there was a moment there where like, there was three of them lined up on the X-ray, and I think actually enough damage is done where Keyleth finds a kill with the Nano Swarm as they try and force through it. Yeah, it's Nats who actually falls here. Somehow, Defo gets ahead of this, so far ahead of this, it feels. What an influential round for him. The Chronicle as well, with that Owl Drone and both information tools ready and waiting. Boko will actually find Redgar there. Was that through smoke? I feel like it was. Yeah. But Defo looking like he might be on track for a trade, and he is. Give us a good idea of what's about to go down. Defo, you still need to be key in this one, and Bone oh, no. has got him across the map. Cena still stands as well. This could be the one. This could be the round to take him across the line. Nats, the last one alive here, and Ascend. Definitely a talking point here. We talk about comfort picks and seeing him on the raise. Last time around looked fantastic. It looks like a burst through potentially the door, and it's not gone very well, but the second layer to that will be Bone Cold. 20 HP, he has to fade away from this, and leave either Killers to pick up that mantle, or to fall back to sight. Look at Nats to try and find something to do. He's right out of drop already. Potential to challenge Keyless and he will win it out. He'll find oh, Bone Cold as Nats. well. He has just sliced through Ascend. I thought maybe he was good for one of those, not two. And suddenly that initial work, that kind of back and forth to find Defo feels so irrelevant how this round pays out. But CNED and Starzo. Swing through this, but actually will spot a barrel there and deal with Shados. Close by. Time ticking away. It's an open plant already. And we got this one in the bag. Nats will deal the fight. Hey, it's not very patient by any means. CNED could be tested oh, and no. actually fails to the ghost of all things. Boot. Planted. To be so integral here in my mind for the Sony players literally sat for this chronicle. Ducks under it. Oh dear, this is looking a bit dangerous to say the least. Kill her, Starzo and Zeke. What are you going to do with this? Nats makes his appearance. And look at this shutdown from Gambit. This was never meant to be this way. But Gambit... It makes it so difficult for Cena to find something here. So much invested though, alt-wise, into this as well. Redgar and Chronicle both putting everything they have into this round early on. Bone Gold still good to catch across though. Spots another and that's Shados. Imagine stay alive, but Cena's in danger. He's got players left and right. Zeke's gone oh, down. No. And oh no, Cena burns alive. Bone Cold, Starzo and Killers put to task, put to test. And Shados passes his. It's traded out eventually, but the spike's gone down. The ult comes in. And now Starzo and Bone Cold are presented the unfavorable, unfathomable task, but actually getting Red Gods made this possible. And look at the HP on Chronicle. 4 HP versus Bone Cold's 2. That's just Starzo throws the Coldrick divide in as well. Nats the last man standing. The king of cool though, look at this guy, composed as ever, he's got to get a run on, oh the defuse is not going to stop! The defuse comes in and they just make it across the finish line. Chronicle on the other side has to kind of respect that, Starzo though, 
just sat in that smoke, hoping for someone to make an appearance, but it's always favorable towards Gambit. It feels like Ascend can't get a clean start in any of this, and Zeke just gets dismantled. This Lots of things for Starzo to deal with initially when we forced away from that choke point. They haven't quite committed just yet, but they're just on the verge. Now Zeke with the first, and Zeke, Please. don't know what happened, but Starzo... <gasps> oh no, it's an absolute disaster again! What is going on? Ascend! It's all falling to pieces! I'm a little taken aback for words here, because Gambit for once didn't have to turn all the screws. Ascend kind of did it for them. Problems on several fronts, he knows. Now there's one, but he's now spotted another! No one can get past him! He's the immovable object. Bone Cold now noted, forced to fight, can't beat our Redgar. And they all still stand. Nats! Finally falls! Oh my word, excuse me, it's Killers who finally falls. This is just down to two, Starzo and Cened. And they're so One split on this. Remaining. Isolated again. <laughs> Nats is just, he just, he just won't die. He literally will not die. Is he playing a That's different game? Go through the rest of this game. And Gambit Aren't are not smoke? stopping. Defo finding CNED. Chronicle looking to deny some of the vision from Tower, allow and facilitate the play to come in. The site's being taken and no one's going to stop it. They still know there's someone up towards it. And there's those odds coming on back through. Maybe this time there'll be some blood drawn. And yet nothing. They still hold the side. They hold their nerve and they still keep just racking up the bodies. No matter what they do, Nats finally goes down. But then there's the second line. Then there's Chronicle. Then there's Defo. Then there's Redgar. And none of it is worth How rattled our Ascend by this source scoreline. Well, I would say probably very at this point because Gambit, they're exuding confidence. And Shados just gets the freest kill of his life. It's, it's, it's all too simple. And nothing in, in any of these strap books and plays and kind of considerations that Ascend had are going to make a blind bit of difference because right now Starzo is the only one who can do anything to deny this and it's a 1v5. And even he knows he's staring, staring down the barrel of a gun. It, it, it's done for. I, I don't care who you are. I don't see a world where this game changed. I've got to back away and respect this for the time being, but they look towards taking tower flash, straight away. Yeah, the flash is so what? good. Red God just beheads Zeke. But there's two more potential victims. Look at this, they're all on the other side, oh and the raid God. boss is here. Nats refusing to relent. This guy's a god right now. Untouchable by all accounts, Starzo. There's just a bounding depo in your face. As rock, paper, and scissors. Characteristic. They're going. Like what we see from they're, Gambit. They're sending. They're full, full sending. Send. It is full absolutely send. full send. Defo at the helm. This time, Ascend are fighting back, but we know who still stands is Nats. He finally gets <laughs> taken down. And Red Guy, he's not got it. Okay. Okay, they're cheering. Let's see now if Gambit want to close the door. Good opportunity for Ascend to build off this, but they have to reinvest here. That feels awkward, especially with the scoreline. I don't know, actually, it didn't take a glance at the ultimate pro. Game. It's their biggest loss that they've, they've ever faced. They deflated, so they did. this is a huge positive for me. Well, Cena's still not having the time of his life. There's much more now. They need to get a pick back. They need to have something go cleanly in their way, and it's just not Gambit on the verge of closing this one down. Three more victims stand. Shados just toying with his meal. You are divided! Now has to be aware that he could be surrounded. He's dealing with the pressure well because he knows that Nats has his back. Gonna find one. Red God swings in and it's all down to Starzo. It's all but over. So on the attacking side, it will be Gambit to try and set the pace here in what could be the final map. There's life on the defensive side of Ascend and already the pressure is great. Gambit gonna begin things well with a pick, but a quick trade out keeps things at least within check. But the spike is down and the time's on their side. He's now actually gonna get spotted out. He will deal with Red God. Lots of focus coming back through B main here, but Gambit playing very deep. On the backside of sight here. Oh, and the overwhelm Shados goes down. Defo and Nats, have you got anything left to defend that spike? Ticking away time by time. Cena gonna try and close in towards Kitchen. Halfway now achieved. There's not much to stop it. Killers takes down Nats is yeah. all on Defo and he's not in the right place nor at the right time. First round goes to ascend. Find a couple on the way out, but. Won't equate to much. There's two, three players here. And he gets the tag on the first, but not fine to move forward. Wall goes in. Starzo goes up and over. Still going to be good for one, but the rifle gets dropped. And that's now Chronicle coming online. Bonecorp still at least keeping himself in the battle. As 3v2 isn't so simple, but Nats... Oh, this is huge. That's huge info. Nats is threading the needle. Yes, he gets... Moves it to a 1v2. Nats is 45 HP. Left. It's definitely doable here. He's already thinking about it. Nats. Oh, Nats. He's that far ahead. to it, man. He's... Zeke. 
on the back of his ultimate does have a rifle, but Nats just walks up. Won't Finding go Gillis. Gillis! Oh, the timing could have been everything. He only gets one, though. Trades out. Still going to tee up someone like CNED. Gets the red guard down. Shados kicks it. Crossing on over. Trying to keep this safe. Zeke going to pop the ult as well. CNED with one and Zeke with the other. They make it. No secrets, though. No, on the no way in, at least. And maybe they don't have to be subtle about it. Share amongst them all. This player's just around that corner. Bring in wildly because no connection is Defo to find Bone Cold and now the back lines get some attention from Gilles. But CNED pins down Defo and the 4v3 carries on. But Cena tries to get involved in this. The spike yet to go down. Starzo, he's going for the drop and he gets sent packing Redgar. Digs in his heels. Finds two critical kills and now CNED called upon. The man's needed here for a send and he's been outdone. Get CNED online with that operator. Wait, where did Zeke just get that from? Middle might be critical to this as now the sight hit comes in. Bone Cold now knows that he doesn't have to worry about his back. But it's the front that's the problem as Shados is still the powerhouse. Playing on through, creating space and opening up a, a little bit of room for a, a, a plant to come in. Defo now watching in case someone gets a little aggressive ahead on that short playback. Oh, gets popped. And now suddenly this is looking dicey. Chronicle! How has he found no three? Way! Chronicle turns this round on its head and CNED. The last line of defense for Ascend in this. As Defo and Shados to get past. He tries to lean forward and caught in the side. Let's find out now. God, and everything's so tailor-made for the punish there. Formation of Redgar's location. Actually, both walls invested, so a little bit of a stalemate here ahead of the plan. There's four players behind this site. Cena's got the ult out as well. Shados. Isn't going to get much done this time. Cena's there towards Nats. It's on Redgar. It's on Chronicle. And Chronicle, this would be a time to really do a bit of a mental damage towards the opponents. But again, there's still so many bodies. But they are on Sheriffs. A couple of upgrades here and there. But he's found maybe the chance on one. Oh, the sec picks all over that wall. Nothing really presented. Zeke on the back lines and a miss. And a bad one at that. Starzo by his side, though, going to make up for the problems. Nats exceeds expectations. Rez comes out. Cena back on his feet, and Starzo with a mad step towards Shados. It's put so much pressure back, and Starzo's having a round. Three already! He's making it four! He wants to do it all himself, and he might be able to do it. It's Cena to close down the account, but what an answer back from Starzo. Enough for them to really build off. No Bladestorm available either for Defo. Cena's here with the operator. There's a lot of people who could overwhelm him right now. See if you play this right. What? Yeah. Real Fight quick. Down. That's okay. not bad for CNED. Bone Cold next in line. Trying to hold this push up, do some chip damage. Shados down a little low. Defo not looking so pretty either. The walking wounded now. Do take towards the site. CNED still keeps calm, keeps cool. <laughs> Goes for a mad shot. Not going to find it, but it is now a 1v3. And that's outnumbered, outgunned. And Anything behind the wall, but you already created a hole. This makes it so awkward to plant now. 18 seconds left. You're seeing Chronicle still deliver towards Bone Cold. That's not good from Starto. Outdone time now. 12 seconds. Zeke beats Nats, but it's a 4v3. Spike goes in, and the walk, you can see it to the left side. Red Girl gets caught. I thought he was dead to rights, but Zeke's still there to keep this in hand. Chronicle, Defo, and Shados, what have you got for us? Chronicle just going to try and live this out. What? Takes down Zeke. Domination has seen it now drops in. The big reveal in the second time, tries to spam on through, doesn't get what he wants. Killers is right there as well. A tap on this one. Draws the fire, what? Seen it! Beheads him, dashes away, tries to absolutely play his life, but time! Hypoc, they're running out of time here! It's an open plant as well, so Chronicle can punish this if they go for it. Seen it's actually sticking through, he's gonna get the half! He's got it to half, but that's all he's gonna get! Shade Austin! Flank coming out from Bone Cold as well. Gambit, though, are good at this sort of work. We saw Chronicle delivering three in this fight. Plant goes in. Nothing to stop it yet. Cena looking for that chance. Needs it, gets it. Nat still finds Bone Cold, though. So the flank's not coming in. There's no help on the way now. It's a three that stand for Ascend. And Gambit clawing this back round by round. Every single trade is still favorable until then. Zeke will get it back on even footing. Oh, and Zeke! How's he doing it? A 1v1, though. Up against the god himself of Nats. How do you get around this, Zeke? What's the plan in mind? Is this what you've got for us? Trying to do what he wants, but the time is going to be just trickled away. HP burning down, ripped away from him. He's down to absolutely nothing, and the close comes in. Nats, he's got him dead to rights. And he's going to be okay, well, to escape with the orb there as well. Defo countering that pressure. We'll find Bone Cold. 
Send. Ooh. Well, try and force this, though. Shadus will find a second. And they're still just fine. They all got kind of bundled up together, but they come out of it scot free, and the fight continues. But it's so favorable to Shadus, who's just been a butcher. Dicing up a send, leaving just seen it alive. A 1v4, and it ain't looking likely. Shados with a shutdown. Take this fight, this scrap. They don't back away into the eye. Chronicle tries to slip by the forward. He's, He's happy to work like this, but Chronicle does go down to Bone Cold. James, you have to be so careful to not fall to any of the. Spike planted. Yep. Until this is deal with on the way through, but we'll deal with this wall first of all. Shados will chip away, we'll find a hole. Actually, a couple of members of Ascend will retreat. Bone Cold is going to be overwhelmed. Shados has done the first bit of damage here, but the time is going to be of the essence. Cnet finds Nats. They're falling. Cnet's found Redgar. It's going to be on one, and it's done. Starzo gets Defo. And Ascend towards LA site, but now it's it's noted. It's been heard. It's been seen. And as a Shados, back of the site with Nats up towards the rafters. It's Starzo on the first chopping block, and they've gone down. Gambit holding three. And now Nats just comes alive when needed, and that's a shutdown. Nats on the other side. Three players from a face down CNED right now, and there's no easy support. If Zeke overcommits, Nats gets the punish. This is difficult. And yeah, that's Nats. Oh! It's Nats all day! Two quick kills, and Ascender now starting to struggle. We need a moment back from them, and it's not going to come in in the form of CNED right now. Killers tries to work his way forward. Redgar already aware, already thinking about it. Double digits is beckoning. Greatness is calling, and Gambit and our... Defo looking for something. Stars are on the other side of this. See there, she closes the distance. Not bad, but Defo very... He gets himself... You will I pulled up. Kill my Light armor. Rez comes in. Ascender giving it everything they can for this one. Starzo. Wait, there's still life in them yet. They're refusing to go down. Starzo doing everything, but look. Good. Really difficult for Nats. He's got to find an early kill here. If there was any. I'd be with you, but it's Nats, and it always seems possible with this man. He finds any mistakes. He punishes. He sees. He's tries to get it clean he does and now it's down to one bone cold will be sweating bullets ascend desperately need this round but it's the man the big man against him and he's gonna be taken oh, 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 out Bo Zeke gonna lean forward there's gonna be the ult being pop chronicles in a bit of trouble here Zena's already found shados that could be the site open look at the over aggress i love that from Zeke get in their face that previous ultimate advantage i think just two or three rounds ago completely ripped away from gamps maybe feeling Confident about it! Beautiful. Why not just be confident Beautiful. about your own ability? Tricky scenario, you know that players are close by. Just gonna use the lid to try and buy a little bit of safety. Redgar still finds Starzo. That's how the spike left blues. Nats gets involved. No he pushes ahead! The man is so brave to do this! The Bone Cold quells it, but look what's left. It's down to just one! Bone Cold in a 1v3. 13 seconds. And I think Gambit might have just done enough. Put in just to deal with this potential, but he's Beautiful. still gonna find it. Falls away in time would be the round that you depend on your heavy hitters, your superstars. But he can't find the way forward. Sarzo gonna try and just defend that spike going down. Bone Cold puts his life in his hands. Sarzo looks towards Rafters, doesn't see it, and Cena takes a look, takes a glimpse, and takes a scalp. Shados goes. Red guard down. Cena, you say you need him. There he is, but it's not without reply. Bone Cold and Starzo put into a 2v2. You've got Nats and Chronicle. The dastardly duo that we saw from the first time. Now Starzo takes down half of it. It's all on Chronicle. A 1v2 to get to 12, or it's 11 11. And we go all even again. Chronicle tries to get further forward around the world. We go. They're playing, just playing time. Starzo is screaming these comms. You can see it in the camp. Yeah, Cena yeah. just closing that gap quick. It's on Shados to do any sort of damage he can. They cross the net. It's Shados to win. Zeke goes down. Falls away safely. Chronicle by his side. The rest of the team's on the way. But Shados wants to get to 12 on his own back. Bone Cold stops the tear before it really comes through. But the spike goes down. Post plant. Three of them standing. Rez comes in and could be four back up. There's the Rez. It's going to be Redgar getting Shados. There's Zeke back on his feet. It's a 4v5 now. Defo still stands finding Killers. And look at the position he's coming out. No Defo! Way. How's he got Starzo? And now it's all down to Zeke. The one man against the army of Gambit. And it's 12 on the board. Drop him. Forced to fight and he succeeds. Cena down. Blades come out. Killers is going to find him. So it's not going to be easy just yet. It's not smooth sailing across the board. Starzo holds his own. Takes down Nats. They have to respect this for merely a second. Shados, Redgar, Chronicle. What's the plan? Damn it. 
3v4 on the retake. Yeah, they send one. They want to scrap for this. They want to fight. See here now. Zeke has to go huge. The wall goes up, but straight away ripped away. The time. This is it. Time to strike for Zeke. Starzo by his side. It's 12-12. Looking for a, mm. an angle through mid here. Starzo Wait, over. Are you what kidding me? What a time to come alive. Starzo takes down Shados. Takes down Redgar. Tucked behind the box yep. there as well. Bone Cold ready to spam through. Again, no wall, so can spam off the default from here. If they get a pick from this, no. Denied by Cena. Chronicle, though, that's two. What? Timing, though, they're oh, down to 10 seconds standing. here. They're not going to have the ten timing on this left. at all. Spike in hand. And this is a send. So, Making plays like that in, in OT, overtime? In OT. Now he is noted. Now they know the position. Do they swing on the Leer? It don't need to. Zeke's in their face already. Takes down Shados. It's to go down. The snake bite and the shock dart just a little off there. Oof. That one, ain't. But where do they find this entry on the way back in? Gambit presented a conundrum. A puzzle to somehow undo. Defo going to be trying to get up towards those rafters. See if you can get that pick. Zeke happy to the first contact. The wall goes up and away we go. Bone Cold says no. Starzo as well. It's down to Redgar and Chronicle. The two stand. Make it one. Redgar, is there anything left in the tank? Or have Ascend done enough to take us all the way here? Redgar, gonna get towards the side. Tap the spike. No way. No way. No way. Someone, someone stop him. It's gonna be Zeke. Roster is their inability to close out or play from behind or play under pressure. Look where the spike is though. Look where Nats is gonna be leaning. Bone Cold tries to explore and loses his life for it first. Stars are playing so close, he might actually be able to find a kill ahead of no him. He will actually. They went ahead of it. He did a little bit of damage, but they still stand. And there's going to be killers slipping away towards CT. He has to try and catch this cross, but the spikes could be on the side. He can't really deny that. It's a wide old flank coming in, too. Keep that in the back of your mind. Zeke is going to be on the maddest of flanks. Seen it up towards heaven. Gambit locked into the site and you're right this gives Zeke a chance and he gets it with both hands looking for the follow-up Shados he was lower HP earlier on oh, Zeke what a time to find form as Ascend looking like they want to send that message home Ascend are here first round on the board they're gonna sit by this we have the Spectres and there's a set piece in play it's so well crafted Zeke a little deeper just be careful no one's gonna explore too deep on that I'm looking at this man on the screen right there Zeke how much more can he get done from this? Actually gets dropped on! And Defo just bullies down Starzo. Yeah, Bone Cold's alive, but he's got a time limit on his life and he knows it. Gets aggressive, and that's the spike! Hold on! Oh, Bone Cold, I thought that shot was coming in, but time. Ten seconds now, there's still danger. They have to facilitate that cross, and Defo is defending it with his life! Gets Nats towards the site, the spike goes in. And Killers is on the ground level now. Yes, left to deal with this spy cam, but not even a fact that Showstopper trying to find something in mid. He might actually find Redgar inside ropes, he will! Redgar was none the wiser. And now here's the problem, Ascend! Shut them down in the entryway! Defo could get in here eventually, how much can he do though? Ten seconds, it ain't much to play with, Ascend! Compile! Control, but now without... That wall in place is going to be a quick burst. Defo going to try and lead the charge, but eats the flash. It's not good. Bone Cold actually took a second or two to punish it, but he still does. Swing back in from Starzo. Keeps his nerve. And now you can see the pinch coming in, but it's being dealt with to perfection by Ascend. Two players still have to try and get past. Bone Cold still here. One bullet is all he needs. Three to spare. You got any more? He finally runs out. As there's the final shutdown, Ascend are in full. Look how, I mean, Sean must be loving this on the desk because it is a lovely display, but how much? Yeah. Close flash. Close enough, yeah, he eats it, but he doesn't pull the trigger. He sits and waits and he's just going to be turned into mincemeat. Defo makes it look easy. Light work! What? Zeke still gets away with two. It's a 2v3. This isn't impossible. Killers and Cena up in heaven. Drops down towards hell, looking for that pick, and oh, Killers gets one! A 1v2, have they even noted seen it? It looks like they want to double face through by Pillar, and he's still going to keep his life for now, 22 seconds. He's doing everything he can in this scenario. Shados is low HP, Redgar still sitting pretty. Another fight! Oh, and the spray! Just goes... Oh, and seen it is just feeling it. Quick as ever. Just bottling brilliance. As now Gambit have to operate at the player deficit, investing the wall quickly oh. just to try and deal with it, Zeke! He's going cold and Zeke right. on the other side of this smoke, Lauren. And Gambit are desperate for this. They need a little more here. Give them some leverage and Bone Cold gives them nothing. 
fades away, doesn't want to give up too much. Nats is now trying to close the gap, but he gets hindered on approach. And Bone Cold is just buying time, pulling rotations over. And Nats has been slowed down. He can't have the impact he wants to drop down. He gets it. Good work from Nats. Trying to create some space. Seen it. Avoid though. Ooh, and a bit of a miss and a half. Nats with the punish. If he has to do it single handedly, he will. And that spikes on the way over. There's two players now towards watching the sight. Zeke position noted. Starzo's timing couldn't have been better. The guy fills the void and see it. Let's see if there's anything to this. And Defo just gonna have to let it rip. Do any sort of damage. That's a great start. Huge impact from Gambit. And finally they switch it up. Finally they look for a new option. Leaving Starzo, Killers, and Cened behind on this one. Spike plant gonna go down. Now they can invest that late round utility for the post plant. Back with but the snake bite gonna slow things down there. Cened finds ahead. Oh, Cened, maybe there's still a bit of a chance on this one time. It's gonna be dwindling there. Zaret's coming in though. Red guard doesn't want this to happen. He's gonna find more. Chronicle by his side. It's a thrifty round that they convert. It's a desperate. Spike could be in danger. I'm waiting to see if they actually crest the corner. Cened still finds Spike Defo and the spike's gone beat. down. Nats is on rotation. Cened needs to just fall away to the side. They've won the fight. That was the integral one. Nats trying to keep it together. They're still on two fronts. As Nats is trying to play this patiently. Allow time for the player Shados to come over. Couldn't adjust quickly Five, enough, but strong. still good damage done. Seek is going to come out and Cened. Looks to get maybe a little ahead of that. Them an idea. Chronicle actually springs on the back of it. Somehow finds Keyless and Zeke. Cened round out. <laughs> Chronicle has normally been the safe pair of hands. Cened doesn't care. He's crossed. Gonna double pick up. Drops down. Looks for the way across. Gets a glimpse and he gets a frag. And a player with nothing to lose. Cened, can you find it oh in the time? God. 11 HP. Tries to draw him closer. He tries to pull him in. Chronicle. He's not gonna fall for it. He holds his nerve. He's trying to give Gambit a window, a chance, something to play with. And Gambit will walk away at least with the bare minimum now. So much. The Surely wall, they ask questions the now. The on B main, if they shoot that, that's going to tell us oh, everything oh, they need oh, to know. Defo. Huge impact. Impeccable work. He sold them an absolute fake and a half. And Zeke going to try and close in with that judge, but it looks like it's done for. Gambit pull out the fake just as they needed it here. Well, I guess the success of all that conditioning. As soon as that adjustment comes on that a site hit with the Cosmic Divide, Ascend Bite. And this one How? step too far. Gam them further back and now the hit looks like it wants to filter on through. Fountain on down. It's going to be Defo who just gets Rover Run. Uh, Bone Cold just straight up fights through him. What are these kills? Ascend. Just powerful in approach. Shados and Chronicle. Playing through from CT, but it's four to find. It ain't going to be easy now. Spike down the time in their side. Zeke looking for it, and he gets it. Ascend. Get the pistol in the. Had actually seen it. Best Shados. They've got to know there's more as well. The wild spray actually will. No one's going to offer them a free kill here. And here's the swing. Red guard. This could be everything. Timing could be great. Actually, a decent trade for Starzo. Next in line. De Depot's gone down, and Nat is trying to keep this together. The one player that's left is Killers. Rifle to hand and a CT push in mind. He knows where Nats is. Maybe a burn step towards Chronicle. A fight on one and a loss. Nats. Give away that he's here, but he's still. Wait, what? what? Zeke wins that? It is a look towards that B side, but we know the utility stuff is good from Chronicle. But can he keep it in check? Yes, he absolutely can. Depot by his side finds Zeke. And now Chronicle want to get aggressive on this, but look where the spike's going. It's heading straight towards A. Defo being positioned here almost has a good idea of exactly what's going on. Starzo does have the res, but as we can see on the minimap, none of those are... Attendance, Starzo sprays him wildly! He gets one! Red guard's fallen! And now they back away. That's what they wanted. They wanted that one pick, and now they could have unleashed. Starzo playing by pillar looks towards heaven. There's that lockdown coming on through. What do they do with this? Ten seconds. This is so late, though. You're not wrong. This is... Wrong. Oh, Cened, you're playing with fire, and Defo's going to punish Starzo, though. Back to the side, back to the wall, quite literally. And he's got to be careful. Isolates one, and now the 1v1. He loses out to Defo, but the timing is all theirs. Ascend. Make it to Defo. We have four players in attendance, and Defo trying to push up. He's got... This is awkward. Red the flash through. Flash, and it's going to be... 
A delayed push. Wait, what? Zeke and Starzo deny Death on Red Guard's aggression. Zeke takes the sight. He's got the showstopper in hand. He's looking for any target and he finds one. Nats is obliterated and the sight is now going to be under ascend control. Spike surely to be planted. And Shados and Chronicle can say nothing in this matter. Shados does find killers. A win or another buy round to remove that from the economy. Into this game and I feel like it was inevitable they'd be able to get there, but now Cened instantly puts himself in this. Redgar on the back lines looking to do damage, but it's just a Spectre. As much as he can try and fight, it's still not much to bring through. Chronicle only good for one. And Nats with the Spectre again, still tucked in the corner. Cened, he falls and Nats still stands. I don't know how Nats just won that with a Spectre versus Cened at that range, but Defo also going to find Bone Cold. We're going to get ahead of this. Keyless will respond though. A 2v2 presented. Keyless gets tagged up. They're digging in so deep right now. Starzo though takes them to 12 and ascend. I can't believe it. That round there is huge as well. Ascend no laying out of their minds. Keyless checked on early. Tries to play safety. Defo wants to close that gap. He wants to be the one to make the difference. And all he feels is the full force from Keyless. And now they're out of positions. They're out of sorts. Chados, what'd you do with this? Oh my god, Cena's just unleashed as well, so they've now opened up their A-site. This instantly dwindles Gambit's numbers down to three. Nats, Redgar, exactly and Chronicle. How do you hold on to this? The ult comes in, the information free-flowing now. Chronicle tries to walk up. It's going to be Zeke and Starzo on the other side. They're keeping their composure. They're going to try and play him through heaven. Nats is on the other side of this, but all he has is that Spectre. He's already seen one pass. CNN finds one. It's all on Redgar now. And this is what it comes down to. One more man to stand. And Redgar, all the hours you've put in. Thousands upon thousands is down to a 1v4. And it's done. Ascend.